Okay, so I'm just going to continue on with a little bit of leaf motif in here. This one just takes a lot of time. I guess my leaves are becoming more rounded. Maybe I'll break them apart a little bit. Well, I think I should touch. I think I should bring them all the way to the edge. Maybe I'll ang start to angle them. Maybe fill in that whole edge of my letter D there. Okay. I feel like that's a little blurry. Hmm. Not quite sure why, but let's see if we can bring it a little closer. Pardon the shaking there. Okay. All right. So there's some leaf ones. Maybe maybe I, I need another leaf. I can't have it by itself. But let's see. Maybe I could do another leaf. I'm kind of wanting to keep near. Maybe I'll do two leaf shapes out this way. Okay. And then I can hug the border there, there, overlap. Okay, so here's... I'm going to get some gesture going there. Maybe some gesture here. I'm sure you will come up with a much more interesting design than this. Okay, so that, that hugs the border. All right, now I need some things in here. I could do another leaf. I could do another flower. I could do sprigs of something. Let's get some something over here. Maybe a design of some sort. I want to do a flower. Maybe a flower. Let's see. Kind of looking, kind of thinking. I'll come back and do some of the infill after I get the main pieces plotted out. But I have a lot more border that I need to be thinking about. So I want to be pretty conscientious of that. Um, where else can I put a, maybe a gestural some leaves? maybe up in here. How about we try that? And I want to kind of uh, make it gestural. Let's see. I could go or I could come from here. I'm just kind of plotting. No rush, right? There's no rush. Or I could do some small flowers. And I'm liking the idea of different shapes. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to think about here. Maybe I could do some sprigs this way. Maybe this way. Some sprigs this way of these leaf shapes. And then maybe I could come up this way. Kind of in back. Let's see what we can do here. So this one's kind of behind. But I can hug the border. That's a good one. Good thing. Okay, there we go. And this one's going to be right at the edge of my D shape. All right. Okay. And then maybe here. Hmm. A pull away from there. Okay. And then I'm going to have to have some background. I have to, there's a lot of gap there. i got to figure out what am I going to do for that gap right here. So maybe we could put uh, another leaf shape in there. Maybe it comes up here. There we go. So I kind of started it here. Okay. So let's see. I'll just kind of follow it up here. Let's see, what could we put in here? Some little, hmm, 
some other shape. Maybe a little, little flowers. Maybe some little flowers. Tiny ones. And then one behind or tugging. Let's hug the border there. There we go. Maybe something even behind here. Just to hug the board in there. And I have to have something here, too. So maybe I'll make a big leaf on this one here and put it all behind. Right there. Actually, I'm going to pull it down all the way right there. Okay. That could work. Okay. Wow, got to think about this. So maybe, maybe I want something else out here. I think I need more. I've got a lot of ground to fill. A lot of background to fill there. And then I need something to connect those. Maybe I'll put a leaf shape up here also, just to... Kind of balance it. There we go. And then I could put maybe a leaf shape. Let's see, where could we... Maybe right here. That would fill that space. And I'll use the veins inside to touch the edge of the letter D. You could probably put another leaf shape in here. I'll use the veins again to touch touch the edge. And then what could I do here? Maybe Let's see, what can we do here? Maybe a little, little flower. I feel like I should change up the shapes. I'll put a flower, kind of a suggestion of a flower behind there. Let's see. Let's change the shape. Let's see, okay, maybe, maybe just a design element, maybe something, I don't know, design element with, those look like spiders and I'm not happy about that. I don't like spiders. Okay, that's not going to work for me. I don't like that already. I hate spiders, so forget that. Okay. That's okay. I'll turn them into this little flower thingy there. Okay, that's better. All right, what else could we do? We could do... <laughs> Continuing on, looking around, maybe I'll put another flower here. Maybe a small one. Behind. Again, I'm Liking the idea of the overlaps. Okay, yeah. And then we'll do our infill later. So I'm just going to start plotting some things. So, let's see, we could put maybe some sprigs could come off here. These sprigs. Maybe another one, and then I could use maybe behind it. I don't know if that's working, but maybe. Maybe for now. Let's see. Maybe one this way. And that would help take care of some of this edge. 
This is a lot harder than it looks because I have to constantly think about my infill and then maybe one down here. And not the infill, I have to think of what's around it and then maybe a little something out here just to bring it an element of something, maybe a little flower. These would be great with um, pencil or colored pencil or any kind of color in there. Okay, so something here. Hmm. I want to completely fill behind here. So maybe I need, maybe it's just going to be, maybe it's just something back there. And I'll just kind of add striations. Okay, maybe this will just be some line back there. Okay, something in here. So maybe it could be maybe another flower poking behind there. And then dots. Dots can work right up to the edge. So just some design element. I kind of like the idea of the dots a little bit for something different. Oh, I like that. I'm going to kind of right up to the edge and I'm going to sprinkle some of these dots. Especially at the edge of the D, my letter, the letter D there, and I'll sprinkle some dots in there. Oh, maybe I could just sprinkle some dots in here just to continue that theme. Oh, that would be kind of fun. Make them random so they don't look like anything in particular in an order. Let's see. Hmm. Challenging here. We could do another leaf pattern. Let's see if it came off here. Make sure that one overlaps. And then a leaf could be Maybe this way. Maybe it's going to be behind. And then dots. Dots are good infill. I'm going to put some even back here. Maybe even just some around it just to con keep the continuity. I like that. That's kind of fun. Kind of breaks up the space a little bit with something different. Okay, and then I, I like the idea of some of this um, space, but you can see it's very bland. All my lines are the same, so it's not as if it's um, very interesting yet, because I have not added any of the detail. So we could probably do maybe another flower shape here. And we could tuck it behind there and then a leaf, another leaf pattern we could oops let's come up this way. Maybe a big leaf. And then maybe a bigger leaf here. Okay, so this will be my striations or the leaf. Right in there. Yeah, we got my dots, but I like the idea that those dots can cross over. That's kind of fun. Okay, so that's filled in in that area except here, but then I could do maybe some dots. Hmm. Or maybe another strand of these leaves or sprigs. There we go. Maybe that could work. Another sprig there. Yeah, maybe some dots in there. Maybe that would be a good infill. Because I have to fill in that whole interior 
And I have to fill in this whole interior of my letter. The only thing that's going to remain is Maybe I'll do just some fun. Let's see. Berries or something. Let's see some branches. Solid. Let's see what else. Ooh. You know what we could do? We could use this sprig. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we could add some more, more of this, maybe this kind of berry thingy over in here. Let's see. How could we do that? Come up here. Maybe I could bring it up this way. And I could add berries. So let's see. And let the berries touch. I guess they're kind of like berries. I don't know what they are. But that would be kind of cool. These are the bigger dots and then these are the smaller ones. Overlap. Let's do an overlap. There we go. Don't want to pass into the letter D though. Okay, bring it all the way and let it hug there. Okay, and then some infill could be some of these dots. You probably could come up with better ideas for infill. so that you can get a variety of contrast in the shapes. Ooh, you know what? And we could do another sprig, another one of these sprigs, or maybe another flower, another sprig. If we could add a few more of these, maybe, maybe up through here, just to... Kind of add some in there. Oh, uh, there we go, a little gesture. And I like that it's darker. I need some darks in here later. Maybe one back here. Keep them kind of curved. Maybe I'll overlap them. berries. Okay, little berries there. Okay, got that. Okay, so that's all filled in. All right, I still need stuff down here, so maybe a leaf. It's challenging. It's not as easy as you would think, but just try to be as creative as you can and think about all the different kinds of mark making. Some more berries, how about? And I am repeating this flower shape quite a bit. So you can repeat that. Um, and, and just these repeating elements. Which makes it kind of nice. Because it gets to, there's a little continuity in it. Okay, and then I have to have some stuff here. So maybe another, maybe some more flower shapes then. Because um, I'm filled in all the way around there. Okay, so I think I could do a couple more flower shapes. And that might take me into my final. Let's see, where else could we put a, maybe out here. So I don't have to come up with, um, let's see, can I overlap that? I don't have to come up with 
lots of different designs. I could repeat. Um, I could repeat these these shapes. I could repeat the flowers. I could repeat these sprigs. Maybe I'll repeat my leaf shape down here with the veins touching. It, but I should probably bring something out down here as well. Okay, and then maybe a sprig just to kind of add that gestural, a sprig of berries. Okay, um, something here maybe. Maybe I'll put a leaf shape behind there, a big one. Just to get more fill, Oops, more stuff filled in there. And then I have something over here. So we could take care of this with a flower, another flower. Let's see, where would be a nice placement? Maybe it could be a big. Oh, let's see. It almost looks like it belongs to that one. But that's okay. So I'll make a big one. And stick it behind there. Okay. All right. Let's see. I feel like I need maybe another leaf shape. Maybe it could even be a little one. Maybe, maybe some more sprigs. Some more of those sprigs. Maybe some sprigs up here. Of berries. Okay. There. Maybe these have to be a little darker even. I kind of like the idea. Again, contrast. Yeah. Okay, these could be a little bigger, a little darker. All right, maybe here even. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready to start solidifying some things, adding some darker lines. Oh, some more dots. I could add, yeah, there we go. Again, just to unify it. So really, I've only used um, the flower shape as one, some leaf shapes two, these kind of flower shapes three, these berry sprigs four, four, and my dots five. I've used five repeating shapes throughout the whole thing. So I don't have to come up with just a hundred different things to fill in behind these letters. Right? I, I can repeat shapes. I can repeat and place different little sprig. I need a sprig over here. So let's do maybe a sprig this way. A uh, berry sprig. Kind of give it a little gesture and a little curve in there. Okay. Now looking around, maybe a sprig up in here of uh, uh, berries. Just a little bit there. Fill these in a little more. Okay, and then maybe a sprig. Let's see. Maybe a sprig up this way. of berries. Maybe overlapping. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. I think I'm ready to go to the next phase and just start darkening some lines. Um, doing some infill on my floral uh, elements there and see what we can get. Alright, so let's meet back here for part three and finish it up. All right.